Hi, I'm Kimberly Schneiderman, Senior Practice Development Manager at Rise Smart, here with your weekly tip. Recently, I was speaking to a colleague about the recruiting efforts for a particular role. The recruiting team reviewed over 1,000 resumes, and even though they came across many interesting branding statements, less than 1% of the resumes submitted were actually tailored for the advertised role. As a result, very few candidates showed up in my colleague's applicant tracking system report. The principle of branding is easy to grasp when you think about major companies' logos. These companies have recognizable logos that you likely associate with the value, services, and qualities of products they offer. As a professional in career transition, you also have a brand that you want to be known for. Incorporate your value, unique abilities, and what you want to be known for, or your professional brand, in your professional value proposition. With a strong PVP, you will have a consistent message when networking, in interviews, on LinkedIn, and on your resume. Now, tailoring is a different skill used to articulate the specific ways your experience aligns with the company's needs. And it is an acquired skill critical to the job application process. Tailoring a resume has several purposes. It increases your ATS rating by matching terms used in job postings with those in your resume. It facilitates the review process for the recruiters and hiring managers so they can easily identify the ways that you align with their needs. And it grabs the attention of the reader. You are positioning yourself as a solution for their search. At RiseSmart, we have several resources to help you master the tailoring process. Here are a few ideas to get you started. First, print or save a Word version of the targeted job posting. The posting can disappear quickly online and this will help you reference requirements as you prepare for potential interviews down the road. Next, highlight keywords and phrases that align with your experience and competencies. Then, revise your PVP. While keeping your branding message consistent, you are adjusting the language as per the role and company you are targeting. Are you mentioning your years of experience with the targeted industry or your cross-functional global team experience? Is your knowledge of data mapping or the agile methodology an added value? This will be important when it comes to answer that often asked interview question, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Next, on your resume, change your title to match or closely align with the job title. Then, save your resume using a formula of your first name, last name, company name, and job title used on the job posting. This is a subtle branding statement and it also helps you as you reference the position in the future for that potential interview. And then edit the list of your core competencies on your resume by changing the order and adapting keywords based on those in the job posting. Finally, read through the professional experience to ensure that the accomplishments highlighted in your resume speak to the targeted role. Do you need to change the order or add a project directly related to that role? Tailoring your resume shouldn't take hours. Once you build your tailoring skills, the steps should go quickly. By incorporating the tailoring process into your job search, you are ideally creating synergy between your professional brand and the specific ways your experience aligns with the company's needs, significantly increasing your chances of securing an interview and ultimately that dream job. Thank you for joining me today. For more ideas in your career transition, be sure to tune in to our upcoming webinars.